Before the enhanced community quarantine, I decided to wander and rediscover some old trails that we used to ride on my early days. Remembering the first time na nabudol ako when I rode the trails of San Jose del Monte, I realized on that day, despite the challenge I've encountered, I fell in love with mountain biking. So, I wandered within the trails of Barangay Paradise and Tungkong Manga at dikit-dikit lang ang mga pasikot-sikot sa lugar na ito from Altaraza to the borders of Montalban sa Likaw-Likaw Terminal. Based on the locals na nakausap ko, alam nyo ba na ang Likaw-Likaw ay salita ng matandang Tagalog na nangangahulugang paikot-ikot? Hindi ko alam kung gaano ka totoo ito, pero based on its definition, this is the word that best describes the place dahil napakadaming magagandang lugar dito na pwedeng pasyalan ng paikot-ikot lang. Good morning everyone and welcome back again to another episode of our bike ride here in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. So today my goal was uh, to rediscover some old trails na pinupuntahan namin dito somewhere uh, around San Jose del Monte. And it, it's been a while since the last time I went here kasi um, it's pandemic and uh, there are a few um, uh, tracks na talagang sinarado na because there's a lot of private um, properties na dito sa loob nito. But uh, along the way, as, su- as long as you know where to go and kung saan yung mga pasikot-sikot, you'll never be lost. So tara, samahan nyo ako and uh, let's see kung ano yung mga pinagbago dito sa San Jose del Monte, Bulacan Trails. So tara! When I need to plan my route, I always use the Komoot app. Komoot gives you the freedom to plan your routes for different riding styles. It gives you almost everything that you'll ever need about the distance, terrain, type of surface, and even the elevation profile. You can also set your own fitness level to assess if you can complete the route and have an approximation of the time duration of your ride. This is probably the first thing I check before I ask around about the location I'm planning to ride in. All right, so I'm currently here sa uh, Mango Farm, somewhere here inside the San Jose del Monte Trails. And hindi ko alam kung anong tawag nila dito, pero napakaraming mangga. And for sure, um, dito sila nag-harvest by uh, summer. And right now, medyo namumulaklak pa lang. And uh, maybe sooner or later, magkakaroon na ng mga bunga dito. And uh, mag-iba na yung amoy kasi marami na maglalaglaga na bunga. So currently, we're at 17.14 uh, kilometers. So... It's about 5 kilometers worth of trails na na-cover na natin and uh, from my place until dun sa trailhead it's about 12 uh, kilometers. Sobrang peaceful dito at napakaganda ng ruta. Um, there's a bit of uphills and uh, flowy single track sections. So uh, later on makikita nyo pa kung ano yung mga features na meron dito sa San Jose del Monte trails. <laughs> All right, so we're currently here approaching the cotton tree and uh, we're about 20 uh, kilometers out so from Dun sa mango farm until here, sa cotton tree, uh, it's about 3 kilometers uh, worth of uh, flowy single track uh, section. So, as you can see kanina dun sa mga pinuntahan natin, napakaraming pananim. And uh, of course, uh, yung mga pananim nila, bawal na bawal daanan yun. <laughs> and as much as possible, bawal na bawal magpicture or magvideo um, along with their um, houses and everything. Uh, as a sign of respect sa kanila kasi hindi naman sila lahat uh, you know um, willing to uh, be exposed sa sa camera and everything 
And actually, yung nakikita akong dalawang siklista doon. Puts yung mga kagrupo ko yata. <laughs> Tara, puntahan natin. Mukhang ano eh, oh. Familiar yung uniform eh. Kagaya nung sa akin eh. Ayun oh. <laughs> Tara, puntahan natin. May dalawang nagpapahinga doon. Uy! Anong ginagawa nyo? <laughs> Ay! Anong ya? Tuks, 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 Okay, yung mga grupo ko nandito pala so I was planning to go solo bakit? hindi mo sinabi pero dito din pala itong dalawang to tagal namin dun o sa may sapa alright okay so may mga kasama na tayo all throughout the course so this is Antonio Locochero and uh, Kevin Nimatong away from his uh, recovery <laughs> recovery ride matagal tagal hindi nakapadyak tong kumpake natin eh what's up man? Oh, social distancing ah <laughs> dahil magi easy kita next week so medyo distansya muna tayo mga amigo alright so nandito na kami sa famous na cotton tree um, isa sa mga famous sa landmark ng mga siklista dito madalas nag, uh, nagpapahinga and ito yung pinaka best spot para picture picture kita nyo naman yung lugar no um, makita nyo mamaya sa shots natin ang ganda ng lugar dito ko na alright ako nga eh Hindi ko na malam na dito din kayo eh. Hindi nga ako nag-invite sa group kasi bawal ang group ride, di ba? <laughs> okay, Tanya na. So, ganun talaga. Pag ang plano nyo, iisa. Huwag tatagpo-tagpo rin kayo. Alright. Okay. Sabi ko pa naman kay Kevin, huwag kang mag-invite sa group GC natin. Alright. So, ito na. Time lapse. Let's check on the drone and uh, I'll show you guys how, how this place looks like. Let's go. Boom. Whenever we travel by the means of riding our bike, we also need to ensure that as tourist, traveler, and wanderer, we have an obligation to keep the place clean by practicing the l &D principle or leave no trace. By doing that, we are helping the nature to recover and bring its natural beauty by leaving it as it is. As the old saying goes, kill nothing but time, leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but pictures, Keep nothing but memories. Alright, so we're now approaching Bricktown by uh, Purok uh, Uno, Dos, and Tres downhill section. I'm not sure, pero yung yata yung tawag nila dun sa lugar na yun. <laughs> Kasi it's subdivided into Purok uh, parts. So 1, 2, 3, or Uno, Dos, Tres, whatever. And we just passed by Rica Fort. We're currently at 22 uh, kilometers right now. And time check, it's 12.44 in the afternoon. And we're at 35 degrees Celsius. 
ang init <laughs> pero sakto lang kasi dito naman tayo sa rail so kahit pa paano may mga hangin naman and medyo bumpy lang kasi napakadaming bato bato dito sa dinadaanan natin so I'll show you guys yung uh, parok downhill sections yung kung gaano kaganda ron so tara let's go And just like that, after a few hours of riding under the scorching sun, natapos din ang lakbay. Masaya ang magsolo kung gusto mong subukan ang sarili mo. Pero mas masaya ang lakbay kung kasama ang mga kaibigang tunay na hindi ka iiwan sa kahit anong kaganapan. So, pagkatapos mong pahinga sa tindahan pag ahon galing purok, napagdesisyon na namin na umuwi na pagkatapos kumain sa Paris sa dam. All right, so that concludes our ride for today. Uh, thank you so much again for tuning in on another episode of our bike ride here in San Jose, Del Monte Bulacan. So we weren't able to complete the route. Hindi na kami nagpunta ng breakdown uh, since uh, may mga chores pa na kailangan tapusin. Anyway, we're here at Tanawin Road and uh, we'll go back to Tungkuna and then go back to our hometown, our beloved uh, hometown, Bagong Silang, Kalookan City. <laughs> All right, so uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, please tune in on another episode and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys on our next ride. Cheers from Trailheads.